It's day number three of 10 Rhythms in 10 Days, and today I'm gonna take a look at one of the most rhythmically advanced drummers of all time, Virgil Donati. There are dozens of Virgil Donati songs and grooves I could do rhythmic analysis on, and if you haven't checked out his solo albums or the Planet X albums, I'd recommend you go do that now. And I'm going to be covering one specific section in his song Red Air off the 2007 album In This Life, and that's this section at about 3 minutes and 35 seconds into the song. One of my subscribers here on YouTube, Ben Lockhart, was wondering what's happening here in the drums. What Virgil's doing is what I've heard referred to as a rhythmic illusion. The idea is that the drums are going to give the illusion of a different tempo or time signature. In this case, it kind of feels like it's slowing down. This part is entirely in 4-4. In fact, this phrase is actually eight bars of 4-4, which is about as common as it can get. To get a better idea of what Virgil is actually doing here, I want to go into my DAW. I have this whole 8-bar phrase highlighted here with this loop. It goes from measure 591 to 599. Now I'm doing all 10 rhythms on this same file. That's why there's so many measures. But if you listen to it, you have a classic snare backbeat in the first couple of measures. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the rhythmic illusion starts on beat three of measure four, right here. And what it sounds like to me is that you still have a snare backbeat, but it's not happening on beat three anymore. You can see that in the transients. So you have it three there, but then the next snare, somewhere between beat one and two of the next measure, and then here somewhere in beat four. My first thought was that maybe he was hitting every five sixteenth notes in the cymbals and snare. That'd be pretty common in a sixteenth note groove like this to make it feel like it's slowing down. So if I count five past that first hit, one, two, three, four, five, the next hit is a little behind there, and then I go five past that, and that next one is even more behind. So five sixteenth notes is not what he's doing here. So it's not happening every five sixteenth notes, and it's also not happening every six sixteenth notes, because that would be right here. It's somewhere in between, so that makes me think that this isn't sixteenth note based. It's probably triplet based, so I'll switch to that. And yep, now these hits are lining up on this new triplet grid. So the cymbals and snare are hitting every one, two, three, four triplets. Essentially, he takes quarter note triplets and then plays those with a 4-4 four, four backbeat. The hi-hat plays quarter note triplets and the snare hits every four triplets. And this gives the illusion that the tempo is changing. Now, what he's actually doing is even more complicated than that because he's not even keeping this triplet backbeat groove consistent. It's mostly done as groups of four, right? But there's actually a couple groups of three. If you look at the first beat of measure six here, you have one, two, three. That pattern's three notes long. There's another one later on here. So if I count along with those, so even within this triplet rhythmic illusion, he's doing some odd patterns, which makes it even more confusing. Now, these groups of three triplets do actually play a role. They allow for this illusion to line back up on the downbeat of measure eight here in this phrase. And then you get this triplet based fill that leads back to the main groove. So if you listen to that, it's going to line up right. There, you can see it, that big snare hit here. And then there's this fill that leads back to our main 4-4 groove. So let's listen to this whole section with the metronome. There's one last thing to look at though. If you listen closely, you can hear a hi-hat being played by Virgil's left foot that keeps the original 4-4 tempo while this illusion is happening. Especially here, right in this measure. So what he's doing is playing 
basically two tempos at the same time or a polyrhythm. So there's this 4-4 in the hi-hat against this triplet groove that's four triplets long. And it's pretty crazy stuff, but Virgil is an absolute master of this limb independence between different hands and different feet. And really, this isn't even that crazy for him. If you go check out some of his drum solos, there's some absolutely ridiculous stuff happening. These kind of rhythmic devices are really cool, and they can add a ton of interest to a section that could just be done as a straight 4-4 groove. There's Rhythm 3 of 10, number 4 coming up next. If you enjoyed this lesson, stay tuned for the rest and subscribe, hit the bell notification, like, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Till next time, stay proggy.